so privileged today to have one of my mentors again um, with us on this video, JP Costa, who's um, not only my mentor, but a mentor to so many other people um, on our team and in our group, and also in the industry of network marketing, a family man, a husband. Thank you very much for joining us today. Cool, awesome, Gary. Great privilege to be here. Uh, it's been great to follow your success over the last few years and your absolute uh, legend in the industry and it's great to spend time with you this evening thank you awesome james now jp maybe just start off by sharing us a bit about your background obviously from cape town maybe um shed a bit of light on you know where you grew up and you know how you got to where you are right now yeah so for me i started about eight years ago i got introduced to this industry i had a friend that invited me to a presentation i was obviously very very skeptical i think like most of us are and um you know i think it really was just for me to make making a decision and um, you know seeing the opportunity and really just going for it and i think you know very often in life you know we always have opportunities to come along our way but very few people actually go and pursue it and for me you know i just went with sort of blind faith and um, you know it's obviously been a been an incredible journey uh, it hasn't always been easy you have your ups and downs uh, swings and roundabouts but uh, yeah it's been an incredible journey I, I think you know i've met such incredible people i've been able to travel all over the world and uh, you know sharing my story sharing with people how to build the business and you know it's you know it's, it's amazing how this business sort of you know, allows you to meet people from such a different array of backgrounds from all over the world, you know. So, um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a fantastic eight years, Gary. James, now, um, interestingly enough, we all know that we're in a brand new economy. You know, times have changed and the old way of doing things, you know, the old system, going to school, getting good grades, finding a job, working yourself up, um, is not really working anymore. And, you know, with this brand new social, mobile, global economy, I just thought about it now. Obviously, you've got a degree yourself. Um, so maybe share on, you know, obviously you have that degree, but what made you decide to build your own business and, you know, pursue your entrepreneurial dreams? Yeah, you know, well, I think, you know, today it's so important that, you know, that people are looking for additional streams of income. Um, you know, times are, are tough, the economy is changing. And, you know, I think that whole idea of, you know, just having one thing that you do for 40 years has changed so much. And, you know, as statistics tell us that people, you know, change their jobs every two years, you know. Um, so, you know, for me, I think the one thing that's really important is that, you know, is that any person out there has to look at, at creating additional stream of income, whatever it is, whether it's, you know, doing something part-time, whether it's, um, you know, you can't just rely on one stream of income. I think, you know, for me, it's always been having multiple streams of income. And, of course, it didn't start that way. When I started with, 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 with in, in this industry, it was really just about me earning an extra few thousand rand a month you know and I never you know obviously expected it to become what it has today but uh, that's obviously what this industry allowed, allowed, allowed me to do and you know it's amazing for me you know to be able to you know have a business do my whole business on my smartphone you know I'm not, I don't have to yeah. go to an office I've got time freedom I, I can be anywhere in the world and my, and my business can you know I can still build my business and I think that's something we're finding so much more today you know um, especially in the generation you know in our generations that you know people are looking for other other things they're looking for something different they're looking to do something unique and unique with their life where um, that they that, that where there's more value um, you know if I just think about it you know our whole generation of we want to travel we, we don't want to be bound in certain areas we want to be able to see the world we don't really actually want big houses with big gardens and things like that because we don't we don't want to be trapped we want to be able to explore and um, and I think that's something that's, that makes it so exciting, you know, and, and, and that's why this industry is so exciting because it doesn't matter what, you know, where you're from or what background you have, you can become an incredible leader in this industry and if you obviously put, your, put, your, put the time and effort in. Awesome, Jabes. Now, I mean, last, the last thing you mentioned there was putting in the time and the effort and, you know, you being a, a, a six-figure monthly earner, which is pretty profound um, in our industry um, and, and very respectable, but at the same time, you've been around for almost nine years now. You know, so how important is it as an entrepreneur to have that perseverance and that, you know, that, that how can I put it, that long-term vision to be able to persevere and to stick it out? You know, because so many people get involved, they try things and fail or they get involved in the business and quit after six months when they see that they're not getting results. Now, for you, the results that you've had over time, obviously... You know, you've shown that your longevity has been a, my, uh, a vital aspect to your success. If you can maybe shed some light on the yeah, importance sure. of that. So um, I love what uh, Les Brown always said. He said, uh, he said, long-term vision keep you going when you face short-term failure. And I think, you know, very often it's, you know, we never really think about what we really want, you know. Um, 
you know, we, we start things, but we've never really gone and worked out a plan. And I think, you know, very often, you know, and I always say this to people, you know, very, many of us, you know, we plan our holidays, but we plan our lives, you know, we know exactly when we're going to be traveling where, what dates it is, what flight we're on, where, where we're going to be staying, how we're getting there. And I think for, for me, and I think for, for anyone out there that's listening to this, is that you have to have a, your master plan for life. You know, what is your master plan for life? What do you really want, you know? And for me, the one thing I want is freedom. So um, sure. I think going back, you know, on, on what you're saying now is really, for me, I've obviously, um, you know, I've been in the industry for long enough. And I think that's something, that, especially in our generation, a lot of young, younger people, you know, they, they get involved in the industry, they try and do this for a few months or a few years, and they don't achieve success, and they can't understand. It's almost like they think the business doesn't work. Yeah. And it's not that the business doesn't work, it's that you're not working the business, because, um, you know, anything in life, you know, um, it, it, they really say it takes about 10 years to master any art or master any profession. And, you know, I've only been in this for nine years. And, you know, I mean, and some people, you know, try and think that they're going to be a professional after doing this for a few weeks or a few months. So I think that's definitely one thing is that you have to get very, very clear about, you know, what you want to achieve. You've got to be willing to put the time and effort in because it is going to be hard work. Um, you know, I, I honestly feel this is a personal development course disguised as a business, right. you know. Um, and you know everything happens. It happens in your life. Happens for your success. So, uh, but honestly, just just a thing of perseverance. You know, you look at any people. I mean, that achieve great success. I mean, once again, I was you know watching the uh, you know the, the tennis uh, this, this past weekend. You know, looking at someone like Roger Federer and uh, Rafael Nadal. You know, we, he's been ranked number seventeen. Hasn't won a major for such a long time. Just to come back. You know, but you know why? This guy's a professional. He's been doing this for for years and years and years. You know, and. I think you know we can never go away from that part about the industry or, 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 or any profession out there that it does take time to succeed. So um, you know, and I honestly for, for me, you know, I really only started getting into massive momentum after being in this for six years. Yeah. Um, you know, it didn't happen in the you know I got some great momentum in the beginning when I started. It sort of slowed down a bit, but you know, it's really it's about outlasting the competition and not just in our profession, but in any profession you do, whether you are got a traditional business or whether you even just work your regular job, you know, I think there is always going to be a reward for people that are persistent. Awesome, James. That's great information. I appreciate everybody watching um, would definitely agree with me. Now, James, lastly, I mean, so many people watching this might be thinking right now, they're looking for a better way. They're looking to maybe start something part-time, escaping the rat race or whatever the case may be. Now, for any young entrepreneurs out there, I mean, if you had one bit of advice, that you could share with them, what would it be? For me, definitely the first thing is you've got to have you've got to have a burning desire um, to be successful, you know, and wh whatever it may be. I think that for me is the first thing. You've got to have a we spoke about this earlier about having a plan. So the first thing is you've got to have a burning desire, and then of course you've got to have a goal that you're going to work towards because. Um, if you haven't got any goals, I mean, what are you what are you working towards? It's sort of like you know, not going on holiday, but you don't know where you're going. So I think. For me, that's a different, different thing is having goals, having long-term goals, medium-term goals, and short-term goals. Um, and then, of course, you've got to have a plan, you know, so you've got to have the, you've got to, got to have the goal, but then you've got to, got to have a plan behind the goals, you know, what are you going to do, um, what's your game plan, you know, because very often people don't have a game plan, you know, we, we, we get involved in something where you don't actually have a plan on how we're going to get to the next step. So for me, I think those are sort of the critical things. And then, of course, the last thing is consistency, is that, you know, you've got to realize that whatever you do in life, it's going to have to be something you do that, that you're going to do for at least, not just for one year or two years or five years, but that, you, that you're at least going to be passionately pursuing that, that, that thing for 10 years. Because, you know, if you are not willing to pursue it for 10 years, then how serious were you really ever about it? Yeah. You know, because um, then it was just like, a, then it was just a moment you were having. Sure. And I think for me, that's something that's, that's, that's definitely critical. So I would say, get a burning desire. I mean, if you, whatever it is, and sometimes, you know, we, we always sort of say, you know, you can make, you can make, a, you can make a hungry person uh, a, a shop, but you can't make a sharp person angry, you know? Mm -hmm. So for me, that's one of the key things is, you know, and even for me, whenever I'm looking at other, you know, at, at getting people involved in this industry, I'm looking for someone who's got a desire, it's got a, it's got a hunger. Because you can teach them, you know, you can't teach someone something that, that hasn't got that desire. That's true. Um, and then, of course, you know, go and set some goals, whatever it is, you know. Um, you know, we, we've obviously now just re reached February. This is still, you know, this is not too late to, to, to have some goals for 2017. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, you know, and, and, and it's amazing, you know, where you, can, where, this, where you can be by the end of the year if you really go and passionately pursue something and actually put a master plan behind what you want to do. So, um, yeah, I think those are sort of the main points for me. And, of course... You know, just to passionately pursue, and, and the, the one thing is, 
just don't quit. You know, that's something for me. I, I always felt, you know, I'm, 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 I, it doesn't matter what it takes. I'm going to make it work in this industry, no matter what it takes. Because I'm, ne I never want someone to say to me, "Oh yeah, I told you it wouldn't work." I wanted to make sure that no one can ever say that to me. Sure. That I, that I, that no one can ever call me a quitter. Yeah. Because I'm not going to quit. You know. So, um, but yeah. So yeah, great to be on this on this uh, show this evening. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, you're doing incredible things. Keep up the good work. You're a passionate and exciting leader, and yeah, it's great to call you a friend as well. Thanks so much, JP. Uh, thanks for your time. We know you're very busy, and um, yeah, thanks for your mentorship over the past five years and Shabane and our lives as well. We really appreciate it, um, and we've learned so much from you and Beth. Uh, so great having you. Yeah, thanks, my friend. Good awesome, to be here. guys. Thanks, I hope guys. you enjoyed that. I hope you found good value from this. If you did. Feel free to, to share with a couple of friends who you think can benefit from it and we'll see you soon. Be blessed. Thanks, Joe.